Hi guys! That sounded weird. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Saturday and I'm getting ready to head out for a four-hour training ride. It's gonna be mostly graveled, crappy paved roads. My typical rides I've been doing on the weekend. But before I do that, this is a percussion massage gun. Now, I don't know if you've noticed these. They are kind of, they've been having a moment the last couple months. They are meant to just massage your muscles. And it's through this vibration that it helps the fascia of the muscle, helps blood flow, which obviously supports recovery. It's overall just supposed to be the same effects of a massage, gets your muscles loose, makes you feel a little bit better. And the ones that have been out there have been very expensive. Like the base models have been $350. I actually picked this one up on Amazon for $120. Essentially, it's a Chinese knockoff. I spent about two hours researching the different ones, trying to figure out what was the best one, hopefully the most reliable one, and had the most features. So a couple of things about these massage guns. They do percussions per second, so you want to get one with a range. This one has a speed up to uh, up to 20. I don't know if that's really necessary though. The other features that you're looking for is the different head attachments because there are different ones. For example, this flat one can be used in a variety of places. This one that's meant for your spine and this one that's meant for your joints. This one is like an overall muscle one, like big muscle groups. It's kind of like the main one that you end up using. And then beyond the attachments, it's also going to be about battery life and then also how loud it is. This one is actually really quiet. So this is the highest speed. Here's an eight. I've been using it on eight quite a bit. I use this for about 20 minutes this morning. My hamstrings are actually pretty sore from the strength session two days ago where I did some weighted lunges. After about the 20 minutes of just working out the hamstrings, the quads, the calves, and a little bit of stuff in my shoulders, I definitely did feel a little bit more loose. I felt loosened up. I'm looking forward to using it after the ride today just to see how good it really feels. Usually I use my power dot after long rides like this and that always feels really good. So instead today I'm gonna I'm gonna try this out. All right, so it's time for me to get out on the bike today and get this ride going. It's gonna be the coldest ride I've done so far of this winter. I'm gonna take the Osmo Pocket with me today as I'm still testing it out. So that's just not really the gimbal's fault, but it's going to be hard to record much footage today. It's pretty cold, but I think I'll be okay. The temperature is about 38 degrees Fahrenheit, but it says it feels like 30 with the wind. But hopefully I won't be in the wind too much. So here we go. No limits, no ceiling, no crown, no pressure, no Issue is really wearing winter gloves. You can't, you have no dexterity with winter gloves, so you can't really do anything. I can barely get food out of my pocket with, actually, I can't get food out of my pocket with winter gloves. So, sorry, no cool shots today. Right over four hours right now on the gravel bike, so overall, pretty good. It's always fun when it's cold and you have winter gear on because everything is so much harder. It's hard to even talk right now, but it's not too bad. I just touched my nose. It's like I forgot my nose was here because it's frozen. The first thing I'm gonna do is get a shower because I always feel like more relaxed after getting cleaned up and, and also warmed up. Now that we've got some sweet sweatpants and hoodie on to be warm, I'm gonna make myself a PB and J and I'm gonna have a hot chocolate with it because why not? Warm drink after a cold ride hits the spot. 
we've moved into day two of the video so last night i did exactly what i said i ate some food i sat around i recovered and a couple hours after the ride i actually used the massage gun and it felt all right like it wasn't life-changing or anything and i woke up this morning and my legs were still sore now remember my legs are sore actually because i have doms and so nothing's really going to cure doms but i used it again this morning and my legs started to feel a little bit loosened up so kevin's arriving he's going to do this gravel ride with me today we're gonna do about three hours on the bike so we're gonna get ready and get this started i'll be that silver silver line into the story if you thought that i would turn and run then y'all don't know me may my fears rest in peace because that's a old me got this taste on my tongue i crave the glory I Gasoline in my veins, be the fuel through my pain. Oh, I, as we rise, rise from the flames. Heart of a lion, never say never. Cut like a diamond, shine under pressure. Oh, it's time to fire, hold up. Oh, it's time to fire, hold up. Just finished the ride with Kevin, 43 miles of mostly gravel. It was very sunny today, a little windy, but overall a great ride. Great weekend for training. My legs are kind of tired, which will be perfect to try out the massage gun again. So we're now on to the third day of this video, but I wanted a little bit of more time to pass before I gave my final thoughts on this Chinese knockoff of a percussion massage gun. Now I don't really know if it's a Chinese knockoff, but I do want to start off by talking about that first, that if you told me ETS row or ETS row or however you want to say that, if you told me that was a name brand in the massage gun like industry, I would not doubt it because the quality of this gun is extremely high. I think that any of the ones that you find on Amazon that look like this are probably the exact same and that the quality is going to be good on those as well. Now people do make these like a do-it-yourself type of, of deal where they go and buy the proper tool from like Lowe's or Home Depot, but usually those are a lot louder. This one is pretty quiet. Let's get into if this thing helps you recover or not. But here's the truth, guys. I have no clue. There's no way for me to tell if this improved my recovery time or not. I'm not a scientist and I'm not part of a scientific study and I can't do one. I've had people tell me like, use it on one leg and not the other and see how you feel. But I feel like that most studies need to have like blind tests and placebos and stuff like that. And if I do it on one leg, then my brain will know that and it will immediately think that it's better on that leg. With that being said though, I do think that anything that makes you feel better can be worth it in the, in the long run. I didn't use this immediately after my ride, mostly because I just wanted to chill out and relax a little bit. I used it a couple hours later and honestly, it didn't feel that great. And like it didn't feel nowhere near as good as I expected it to. And it was kind of like my legs were dead and this was trying to resuscitate them, but my legs had already signed a DNR and they weren't ever coming back from the afterlife. But when I used it the following morning, I noticed a big difference. I woke up and my legs were sore and stiff and I used this on it and it definitely helped loosen them up. Now, something to mention is that this past week and these past two days that you've seen in this video, this has been the biggest training week that I've had in the off season so far. So I definitely put the miles in, I put in some elevation, and I think that I performed and felt really well during the efforts. I don't know if it's all to do with this gun, but I do think it played a part. Now, one of the reasons why I usually buy these type of recovery or massage items is the, the little one-off things they can do. My legs are constantly in a state of fatigue. Sure, I would love for this to make my legs feel better so that I could ride harder, faster, longer, but ultimately I know that nothing is truly going to completely eliminate the fatigue in my legs. So when I go to purchase devices like this, I think about the other things that they can help with. For an example, 
Every so often I'll wake up with a crick in my shoulder blade and it will be there for a day or two before it will go away. So devices like this will definitely have the ability to let me massage that stuff and try to clear it out. My tennis elbow can get really bad. I don't even play tennis, so I don't know why I have tennis elbow. But when you start looking at things like that and the fact that my spouse can also use this, then it sure, it starts to make a lot more sense. I will definitely be taking this on trips and race weekends with me and using it on a regular basis and seeing how I adapt to it and how I continue to use it. I think it is a handy device to have and the fact that it made me feel a little bit better the morning before my ride could definitely improve the performance on the ride. I'll keep you guys updated as I continue to use it and experiment with it. This was just kind of like a two to three day overview of it. It feels so much better using it today than it did last night. Like I said, I think it was just because my my legs were just ground beef. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.